I will buy it for four metal parts. Okay, we now have four metal parts. Only 2,996 left to go. Ugh. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are actually going to be looking at yet another dead game in my Steam library. Now, I buy an awful lot of games in early access, and, you know, most of them are gems, like the long drive here, but every once in a while you do get one that, for whatever reason, just doesn't go anywhere and gets abandoned. And today, I thought it might be fun to take a look at the game that actually got killed by the long drive. We're going to have a go at Under the Sand. Now this one's actually a little bit sad. Um, Under the Sand was basically an endless desert road trip, kind of, well, very much like the long drive. And at the time I bought it, it was like ridiculously early access. You just had a pickup truck that was janky as hell and a long sandy road to drive down. Now they did update it a few times after I purchased it and they added like the story game, uh, set out on a long journey in your old pickup truck to fill the last request to your father, but is there a place left on this planet where it's possibly to do this? That's what they were working on when this crapped out. Now, you do have the endless trip option, which is what we're going to be doing. Yes, it's fine. I don't care about my progress. I haven't played this game in a year or two, probably. All right. Well, here we are. Apparently, we're starting in our house. Um, again, when I played this, none of this stuff was here. Now, how do you do things? Oh, okay. Left mouse button, take the item. Middle mouse button or X to drop. So hold the middle mouse button or X, grab the object. All right, that it? What are you? You're a flare. Do I have an inventory system? Left mouse button action. I don't want to light the flare. I just want to go out. Um, door? Okay, this is my house. There's my trucks. Okay, so I've got a Jeep. I've got a pickup truck and... Hello, kitten. And that doesn't work, which is a shame, because this is the truck I would probably take. I think we'll actually take the pickup truck today. Okay, you don't have a lot of control over just dropping things. It's either like throw or don't throw. Is there anything useful? Oh, yes, there is. What do we got? An air filter, engine, water tank, battery units, cassette tape. Ugh, yeah, no, we're not bothering with any of the cassette tape stuff. All right, I'm definitely taking the bottle of water. Now, what happens if I try and... Oh, hello. Did I pick up both of them? Okay, apparently that's as many items as I can hold. How do I change my inventory? Hold on one second, I gotta look this up. Okay, really? Did... Oh, no, no, alright, well, we just drank that water. Uh, I'm starting to see why people preferred the long drive to this game. I don't even know what that is. Okay, that's engine oil. I'm gonna go on the assumption that our truck is fine. I take it back. Our truck is not fine. Okay, we have to build the truck. Luckily, I have an engine, and an air filter, and a battery, and a water tank, which probably would use some of the water that I just drank. Alright, we've got the battery hooked up. There's the water tank. Yeah, it has no water in it. So how do I put water in this thing? I did put the air filter on. I know I have a bottle of water because I just grabbed it. So you come here. Okay, is it going to be nice and easy? Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay, so it's very, very tricky. Oh, apparently that's how I don't throw things. Yeah, it was really, really tricky to hit that hole just right. All right, that's got five of five, that's got five of five. We're going to throw one in the truck, assuming we can figure out how to do it. Kind of like so, I would say. And then we're going to chuck the other one in the back. And I guess we're going to head out. Oops, come on. Here we go. Okay, let's make sure that's shut. Oh, okay. How hard is it to drive? How does one get into the truck? I'm already in the truck. Oh, okay. That's not that difficult. Can I roll my windows down? No. That's something I kind of wish the long drive did as well. 
Oh, I don't have any oil in the truck. Hold on. Crap. Alright. Sorry, game. Let me find my oil. Alright, there we go. Pop the hood again. I did actually close the cap on the water. Good. Alright, durability is 100 of 100. I guess that's useless now. I might as well pop the top on that. Alright, now am I ready to go, game? Can I just drive out across your endless desert? Sounds promising. We're almost out of gas, but it definitely sounds promising. Now, is there an indicator of which direction I'm meant to travel in? Because I'm assuming the road ends dead there, so I guess I'm going this way. Oh, mirrors are useless. Oh, apparently there was some other stuff we could have done in town, but you know what? It's fine. We're on the way. Oh, we have a little spaceman spiff guy up here. Yeah, yeah, I know, truck. I'm almost out of gas. i tell you one thing. Compared to the Fury in the long drive, this thing is absolutely gutless. Uh, Alright, well, this might take a while, but I'll see you when we find something. Well, we found a house. Let's see if there's anything good in here we can steal. I don't think there's other traffic to worry about, so I'm just going to pull off the side a little bit anyway, just in case there is. Turn the truck off. Oh, let's check your mail, lady. You got anything in the mailbox? Can I check the mail? Okay, the mouse thing is really, really not smooth. I think that's going to make me violently ill here before the end of this episode. Um, anything good? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's try in the house. It's kind of like gas and oil I need. Anything at all? Got barrels we can't... Re okay, we got a battery. 2020. Can of beans. I guess we'll kife the beans. Oh, oh come on, people. I just want to throw stuff in the back of my truck. Now, is there anything out back of your house I need to know about? Half a wheelbarrow is not going to be much good. Wood isn't a thing. Nobody's using the outhouse this week. Okay, was that legitimately it? I got a can of beans and a battery I don't need or want. Can I sit down in the rocking chair, I wonder? No. Okay. Yeah, that would appear to be it. That was pretty much a big fat nothing. Oh, God. Here we go. Back in slow motion again. Okay, do I have headlights? Yes, I do. Do I have high beams? No, I do not. Am I out of gas? Yes, I am. Okay, quick update. We're go Oh, nope, hold on. There's something down here we might be able to do. I see... A windmill. Oh, yep, okay, never mind. Alright, well, we found something. I don't know what it is, but let's go take a peek. Hopefully there's a... Oh, nope, it's containers. Oh, I actually remember these from the version of the game that I played. If I remember right, you can find all kinds of good stuff in them. But what I need right now is gas, because I am on the last five liters. We ran out, and I had to refill it. And it's running quite low. We got another crappy battery. I also need some sleep. Hopefully I can figure out how to do that. I mean, I would hope there was a way I could do it in the truck. I'm actually not seeing much to scavenge here. I'm actually not seeing much of anything here. Hello, it's getting dark. I'm getting tired. I need to go sleep now. I'm also out of water and I don't have any more of that, so... <laughs> Alright, well, nothing here. Let me go see how hard it is to sleep. Okay, I have no sleep button, so what we're going to do is we're going to carry on and see if we can find a place... It has a bed in it, 
for we either run out of gas or die of thirst. I'm not sure which one of those is going to come first. Alright, well, the water light just popped on, and I hate to tell you there, truck, but I don't have enough water for myself, much less for you. And I haven't seen anything at all since the last place we stopped. So now we've got three possible ways to get killed before we get anywhere. Okay, well, we found a place. Hopefully we can loot it. Let's go see what's in here. Now I need to have gas, water, and a place to sleep or I'm going to die. Okay, I got a Sun Cola. Will that help with my thirst? I'm trying to remember how to use it. Hold on. Hello? Can I drink it? I opened it. Why can I not drink it? Is it one of these? Nope, it's not that kind of game. Did I just use it all up and it didn't do anything? Yep, yep I did. Okay, how about gas and water? Can we have any of that? I see something. Oh, another Sun Cola. Let's see if this makes a difference to my thirst. Oh, it did. It made a small difference. I mean, it's enough to might keep me alive for a while. Oh, goody. Engine oil. Exactly what I needed. Well, at least it's almost daylight again. I wonder if the game would let me put the soda in the radiator. I probably should have tested that. Okay, is this a bridge? Looks like a bridge. Are we going to die on the bridge? The... Um, fuel gauge is now getting a bit alarming. And there it goes. Perfect timing. So we are now broken down in the middle of nowhere. We're hungry, we're thirsty, we have a can of beans, and that's it. I think this road trip has come to an end. I mean, I can't even tell if there was anything up ahead of us to walk towards. But we'll let it coast to a stop. Now I think we're going to abandon it. Now we didn't really look at much of this game, so I'm going to restart. We're going to check around town a little bit, and then we'll grab the Jeep and see if that's any better. Just like magic, we're back. Okay, now, what was it that we had in this house that was worth stealing? A flare. I'm not going to bother with the flare. Is there anything else? Oh, yes there is. Canned beans. Okay. Is there stuff in the box? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Nothing in the box. Okay, well, we can check boxes at least, so that's kind of cool to know. I don't know why that door sticks. All right, Jeep, I'm taking you this time. You better be better than that thing. You can't possibly be worse. All right, now, how much gas do you have in you? I have no idea. What's your engine look like? You don't have one. Okay, we're going to have to use the same crappy, weedy, goddamned engine. Let's see if that is... Okay, yeah, it's a... Mariv 600 GL. Okay, so what we could really use before we go anywhere is a better engine. Now, the road does dead end right there. I don't see anything out back of the house apart from a for sale sign. Oh, it's on this abandoned building, which I'm going to guess I can't get into. And I can't interact with the little wheel. Okay, well, let's go see if across the street has anything good. You know, like an engine. Trading post, okay. Does this mean I can buy things? I mean, I don't have anything to sell, but... If you've got a bigger engine, I'm willing to make a deal. Okay, that's the same exact one I've got. Oh, no, I've got a 600. Okay, that's a 1,000. That's a 1,200. I will sell it for 3,000 metal parts. How the hell do I get metal parts? I can at least buy some water, yes? Do I have any metal parts on me? No, I'm assuming that's what the chain is on my little heads-up display. Do you want to sell about... Okay, I can sell stuff, but I don't really have anything junky to sell. Do I? How does one get metal parts? I have no idea. You would think metal parts would be a thing we could find in the game. Alright, well, Trader Dude, I'm going to raid the town, and then I'll come back and we'll see if maybe we can have a chat. Oh, nope, there's another person in this place. I probably shouldn't steal stuff. In the doghouse, canned beans. Not going to worry about that. I did not live long enough to get hungry. Hello, strange person. You did not change your mind to find the sea. Okay, so this game did have an actual goal in it. Can I have your gun? Please don't touch my stuff. You're going to really hate me now, buddy, because I'm going in here and poke around your place. Got anything in here that's worth having? No. Well, at least there are, like, NPCs in this game that do have some kind of reaction to you. All right, that's my house. This is the one I wanted to check out. We've got this place, that place, whatever that is, and the church. 
And this is all going to be occupied, aren't they? Hmm. That it? That's your entire contribution to the conversation? Is... You got anything worth stealing? You have a sign that says strawberries on it. Can I sleep in your bed? No. Can I sleep in my bed? Maybe we should sit out in the morning and at least we won't run out of daylight before we run out of anything else. Alright, barn has potential. This might have an engine in it, yes? No, well, there is a bottle of water though, so I'll grab it. There's a greenhouse. Okay, we're gonna have food in it. Are you an actual person? I, now see, my game, I would have had a real person stuck up there because it would have been much more post-apocalyptic. Can I pick potatoes? No. Don't think you could grow potatoes in a planter that shallow either, to be honest. But <laughs> You know, what do I know? Pumpkins. Okay. Can I water the pumpkins? Nope, I watered myself. And now I've wasted a whole liter of water that I really should have put in the truck. Bus stop, huh? I have a feeling that'd be a long wait for a bus that ain't coming. Alright, church, what do you got new? Oh, your doors are knocked off. This is not boating well. Oh, okay, never mind. There is a guy in here. Ooh, more gas. Thank you. Hello, Father. Don't praise the sun. Okay. You people are all really profoundly weird, just so you know. And yes, this might be a church's outbuildings, but God damn it, if there's an engine in it, I'm stealing it. Okay, I'm gonna... Oops. I was gonna just drop that at the Jeep. I'll tell you what, we'll just put the petrol in it now, because we know we're gonna run out anyway, so we might as well do this first. There we go, we're out of that. Now, can I sell you an empty canister, friend? Is that a thing you're interested in buying? I will buy it for four metal parts. Okay, we now have four metal parts. Only... 2,996 left to go. Ugh. Okay, well, we can get a few more here, so I might as well do that real quick. Hopefully, he still wants to buy these as well. Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, we're up to 12 metal parts. How much is just any improvement? 1,800. Well, how much was the basic one? 1,400. All right, I bet you're not going to buy it for 1,400, though, are you? All right, what do you think? 700. That's not even half of what we need. <sighs> Alright, we're stuck with this piece of crap. How about empty water bottles, dude? You want to buy an empty water bottle? I mean, it's worth a go. If I can scavenge up enough to get... set. Alright, two metal parts for the empty water bottle. Well, now. I can see it's going to take an awful lot of time. To... Unless you guys are scrap metal. Of course not. Oh, that's too easy. Is this like a crafting bench? Can I do stuff in here? Can I like repair things or do anything else with it? I mean, we can try. No. Okay, not a crafting bench. Oh, this is oil. Ah, oil, Digby. You want to put that in the engine, dum-dum? No. There we go. Okay, we'll go see how much our friend will give us for an empty oil bottle here in a minute. Because I've still got two things of water to put in there. And I might come back for the cassettes, and we'll just check that out. Okay, water. That's not what I wanted to do. And now I can't pick it up, because I'm holding that. No, I want that open. I want that in my hand. I want to put that back, and I want to put water in it. Thank you. Now you. Nope. Oh, it already had four in it. Crap. Well... You know what? It is what it is. Alright, awesome mix, country collections. I hate country music. That's only worth two. How about we try you? And we'll check the oil in. Oil four or five. Oh, this is already empty. Okay. Whoops. Actually. Now the truck's ready to travel. Of course, it's almost dark. But that's fine, because I was going to go in and see if I could fall asleep in my house first. So, dude, please buy some of this junk. It's trash. Well, you can take care of it for me. You don't need it. Nobody needs it. It's country music. Two metal parts. Hooray, we made 16 bucks. I was going to say that was a very productive day, but it wasn't a very productive day. However, it is statistically likely to be much more productive than the day we're going to have tomorrow. 
Can I sleep in my bed? I can. Okay. That's a help. I'm very hungry and very thirsty, and I have no water. And I think all I've got is a can of beans. Alright, well, we're up. It's daytime. Let's hit the road. Where were the can of beans? That was in here. Did I take them? I did. Okay, so I would have put those in the back of the truck. And I wonder if beans will help with my thirst. Please to Oh, you know what? I didn't shut that either. Alright, beans, are you going to help me with my thirst? Oops. Did not mean to do that, but while well, we got it open... Nope, helped with my hunger. Hey, Trader Joe, I got another piece of metal for you. It's trash. Okay, well, it can stay here with all the other garbage then, because I got to get going. I wonder if we're going to get luckier on this uh, spawn set than we did the last time I've tried this, when we set out in the big truck. Because if it's just the same things that spawn in the same places every time, this game is going to be pretty much unwinnable. So... Cross your fingers, pray to the gods of randomness, and let's go see if we can find something else that isn't crap. Okay, that's something I don't understand. Um, for some reason, and I'm, again, mouse keyboard, you guys know this stuff. Uh, I'm driving along with basically just the W key pressed as hard as possible. And yet, this truck will downshift at the bottom of hills. And not on the bottom before you climb up at the bottom once you get down. I don't know what the hell's up with that, but it drives me bloody crazy, because if you're going to downshift for a hill, you want to do it at the top, not the bottom. And, I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Now, I think this is a point where we saw the house. Th okay, hey, guess what? There's the house. They call this an endless road trip, but it's kind of definitively gotten into it, because it ends when you run out of bloody gas. Now, you're going to have the same spawns in you that the other place did, the first time we set out. And I did actually go back to the menu and restart this. So if there's any kind of random seed involved, now would be the time to kick in. Oh my god, I'm so sick of the friggin' way this jerks around. Okay, can of beans, battery. So we are going to run out of gas. Well, we had five extra liters, so sometime after whatever the hell else we found. All right, well, I hate to say it, but that's all I can really stand. I'm starting to get physically dizzy from playing this because of that herky-jerky mouse motion. And quite frankly, it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. We're going to get a little ways down the road. We're going to run out of gas. So, yeah, I can kind of understand why everybody gravitated to the long drive over this game. I feel really bad for the devs. The game had a lot of potential. I just don't think they took it in quite the right direction. You know, a lot more random generation and... A little bit better fuel consumption and power and this actually would have been a pretty decent game but anyway it's dead it's in my library i can now uninstall it and i never have to play it again thank god but yeah as always i have been digby i thank you guys for stopping by i hope you guys enjoyed this look at under the sand even though it's not a terribly great game and yeah i hope to see you for well whatever dead game comes next